The movie trailers at the Super Bowl this year are out of control and I'm here for it. We have another one for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. This is setting up, I believe, a new trilogy after the, the last trilogy and after the, the, the like five movies before that. We have a lot of Planet of the Apes movies now. It's, it's getting pretty crazy, but I love them all, honestly. Most of them. I should say I love most of them. They're all pretty damn good. We're going to be watching another one right now, so let's get to it. Ugh, gross. I hate when they do the teaser trailer before the trailer. Alright, here we go. Are you familiar with the concept of evolution? It still depresses me that it's 20th Century Studios and not 20th Century Fox. Apes on horseback. I love it. You love to see it. Cinematography is on point. But now it is. Good looking woman that helps sell it. Time. And it is my kingdom. We will learn. Who's this guy? Who's this bozo? We'll learn. I will learn. <laughs> Got uh, Lara Croft Tomb Raider running away here. Legend says ape and human live side by side. This takes place many years after the last trilogy. After Caesar. She is smarter than most. The elders did not tell us. They all talk. They all know perfect English now. That's great. Oh, that looks so good. No, together, strong. Yeah! Okay. Wow, a lot there. A lot there, yet nothing there. At the same time, I I like that trailer a lot. It gives me nothing to go on outside of a big scale, big scope. We have a new tyrannical leader, it looks like. There's a new protagonist ape who's going to probably rise up to stop him, get a little army of his own, a rebellion of sorts. Got a young woman who's kind of caught in the middle. Uh, she appears to have some history or some knowledge with these characters. I don't know. I, I really don't get that whole angle to it. She might just be a catalyst for the story and nothing more than a jumping off point. Just a, just a protagonist fish out of water that we can kind of relate to. And we can get a little bit more of the shenanigans going on with the apes. It looks really good. Visually stunning. I like the music. The score has always been good in these Planet of the Apes films. I do miss Caesar. I don't, I don't know if any of these new characters are going to rise to the challenge from that last trilogy because there's a lot of great characters in that last one. Koba was fantastic. Blue Eyes. All of them are great. This looks promising. I will absolutely give it the benefit of the doubt. These Apes movies are funny because I feel like they come out, they do well at the box office, and then they just go away. And no one really talks about them until the next one comes out. And even then, it's just kind of a quiet whisper to the theaters. And everybody goes, and we have a great time. It's really the avatar of, of the... Oh, it's all owned by the same company now. It's, it's all Disney. How depressing. It's all Disney all the time. But Avatar feels the same way. The movies come out, they do massive numbers, and then just whispers. Quiet. Obviously, the Apes franchise isn't near as, as popular or as big as uh, budget-wise as Avatar. But I, do, I get that same sense where... We all have this appreciation in our back pocket for them. 
This one looks promising. It looks really good. I don't need to see any more. I'm there. I'm sold day fun at the theaters. Let me know though. What are your thoughts on this franchise? You a big fan as well of Rise, of Dawn, of War? War to me is the weakest of the trilogy. I actually thought it kind of ended on a, on a, not a lame note, but I was, I was a bit bummed out with War. I thought they had a really good thing going in War. Kind of like The Dark Knight Rises. Step down from Dark Knight, but still good enough, I thought. Okay, let me know. Leave a comment. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Again, I post movie stuff all the time here. Would love to have you stick around. And I'm going to be reacting to a lot of the big Super Bowl trailers that came out. So make sure to subscribe to hear those. All right. See you next time.